Today in this video, I'm going to transform this low quality image, which is rendered by SketchUp V-Ray, into this one using just Photoshop. Hi, this is Pear and welcome to my channel. So these are the render elements or render channels I'm going to use for this process. And these are my needed materials. I'm going to start from editing with render elements. I'm mostly using render elements for lighting improvements and some of them may come in handy for selecting easily. So this process is totally doable without render channels. You can skip this part and going straight to the other parts. After I use all these elements, I'm making a group of these layers. And I'm creating a flattened layer of all these elements. And from now on, I'm making selections on this layer. And on top of this layer, I'm adding ambient occlusion layer. Okay, now it's time to edit each part separately. And I'm starting off with the background. As I mentioned before, I'm using these render elements for making selections. So with the help of this image, I'm making selection of the background. So this is my selection layer. On top of that comes the sky with a clipping mask. And also the tree line picture. And for removing the sky from this picture, I'm going to select sky, creating a layer mask and inverting the mask with control I and done. Next is the mid-ground. I'm adding a concrete texture to the buildings. Creating copies with different sizes. And at the end, merging all these concrete layers and clipping mask. And setting the blending mode to linear burn. Now it's time for editing the foreground. I'm starting from this part of the ground. And I'm giving it a texture. And then I'm selecting these parts and I'm using grass texture. I'm also making a selection of the ramp slope
and giving it a texture. Now I'm adding some trees. And I'm creating the shadows of the trees. After that, I'm adding some human figures. And also the shadows that are easily created by a brush and a blur filter. And for the last part, I'm going to flatten all these layers in a new layer by using Ctrl, Alt, Shift, and E and using a camera raw filter to enhance textures, lighting, and colors or overall the quality of this image. And that's it. If you like this video, don't forget to like and hit subscribe to my channel. Have a great day!